Welcome. I just want to make a short video on lossless compression. So I've ripped my CD collection to Apple lossless audio using iTunes, and that's represented by this uh, lossless underscore music directory. And then I got curious if FLAC was going to be any smaller, I mean even just a little bit. So I converted that all to um, FLAC, and that's in the second folder, lossless music underscore FLAC. So um, you can easily convert back and forth between uh, Apple Lossless and FLAC. And you see here they're both uh, 64 gigabytes when I check the size of these two folders. And here we have, uh, when you use this H on this DU-SH, this makes it human readable. If we take that off, um, it gives us a little bit more accurate. And you'll see the FLAC is just slightly smaller. Um, but that's not enough for me to, you know, say one way is better than the other. Um, I would use whatever's easiest for you. And then down here, we're looking at the number of files in each, and they each have uh, 2,518 files. So, you know, I just want to make this short video. So if you're considering either Apple Lossless or FLAC, um, in this sampling I did with, um, you know, all this, this one collection that's 64 gigabytes, I came out very close to each other. So I would say use whatever's easiest for you. If you're using iTunes, you'll probably go Apple Lossless. If you're using other software, you know, that, exports to FLAC, then go ahead and do that. But, um, you know, overall, I know sometimes I've seen where, um, you know, one will compress smaller than the other, but I'd like to just use the same codec on all of my collection. So that's just a quick video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.